Welcome back to the 90 Day Blitz. We're on week three about your infinite mind, you being able to understand it's okay to be illogical, accept that belief right now in an instant. Accept the belief that you can have multiple streams of income. You can be paid in larger quantities every single time you open up your bank account, every single time you get a paycheck. If you resonate with that, please drop a like on this video right now in the first few seconds of it. I want to hear from you. Now, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. You know the drill. You've been around. <laughs> Make sure to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell if you haven't already for real, because I want you to be in the know for every single time something in this playlist happens amongst other videos too. We are here to help you increase yourself financially with your health, with your wealth, with your relationships, and all starts with what you put in here. So I hope you can engage that from week three. I hope you're in the midst of understanding what the heck you're capable of. And so you can actually go get the thing you desire. Okay. In this video, two concepts, be a note taker, write it down. Not kidding. How you go increase your infinite mind, how you actually go be okay to be illogical and you go get the thing you talk about and you go have the affirmations that you've said that you've heard come to life, how you are then understanding how to reroute your script and to understand that the words that you say and the things that you hear are directly impacting your life, how you close that gap, just like we talked about last week is by doing and understanding these two concepts. People change for two reasons. Two, that's it. People change for two reasons. One, emotional impact. Say something negative like 9-11. People had that experience and they never looked back. They're diagnosed with something, it's negative. They never looked back. They decided in an instant that they were going to completely cold turkey, that they were going to 180. They never looked back, right? People change for that reason, emotional impact. You can sit and wait around for that negative thing to come for you to be like, whoa, whoa, slap to the face. And you actually go do something different. You can be in a certain amount of debt and decide enough is enough and you just completely cold turkey and one day you just have it landed financially. It can seem like an overnight success. That's emotional impact, okay? But the more likely of the two for why people change, why you get to change, why you're here on this mindset mastery is because of constant spaced repetition. Constant spaced repetition. You can wait for the emotional impact, cold turkey, and just boom, 180 yourself. However, how, whatever goals you have, you can completely do that. That would be the exception, not the rule. Because it's rare. It doesn't always happen, right? Or people wait around for that thing to like make them change, right? You can also change based on, write it down, constant spaced repetition. If you want to change the habits and behaviors and the paradigms that have programmed completely in your mind, limiting you without you even realizing it, you're in jail and don't even know. The only way to get out of that jail cell and to be aware of your infinite mind for how you can actually go get the things you talk about, the things that you have, the desires that are embedded in here is to have constant spaced repetition toward the thing you want. How you create a habit is the same way you go to the bathroom each morning or you put your pants on the same way, right? Leg and left leg or vice versa. How you create the habit of driving to work and not thinking about it. It's just natural. You just do it is by doing it often enough. So find something in your life, finances, health, your relationships, whatever. Find a habit that you either are not doing or that you need to start doing and start compounding that behavior. When you have constant spaced repetition towards the thing you want, and it is the right behavior to not deviate you from the course, but actually increase you to that goal, then and only then will you change. Then and only then will your paradigms, your habits, your belief system start to bend and shape into better form that equals your infinite mind for the ideas you have in here, now on the physical where you can hold them in your hand, okay? If you got value from this, drop a like on this video. As always, drop a comment if you have a thought or a question, and we'll see you on the next day with Grace Kirsty.